Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to our next 2022 Panini Legacy Team Break event here at Prophecy Box Breaks. As usual, we're going to uh, give a few minutes here for everyone to filter in. We've gone live about six or seven minutes early today, so we're going to give a few minutes for everyone to filter on in here, and we will get started. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the show. Prophecy Box Breaks 2021 Panini Legacy Team Break Event. As usual, we're going to give everyone a few minutes to filter on in. We've gone live a little bit early, so kick back. Grab something to snack on or grab something to wet your whistle. We'll be getting ready in a few minutes. Hey there, Al. Glad you're able to make it. Hey there, MVP. No worries, as usual. I know you're here early. I'm sure you're working.
Hey, hey, Sam, glad you're able to make it. Hey, hey, Kyle. Glad you were able to make it. We're going to get started in just a moment here. Just doing one last thing before we get started. No worries, no worries, that does tend to happen. Today, oops, didn't realize that wasn't uh, wasn't exactly in view there, sorry about that. Today we are breaking our second 2021 Panini Legacy Hobby Box of 2022. Spots were sold on eBay and on Facebook. And as a tradition, we are going to have a little bit of a pre-box break. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting a few things uh, set up here. I was a little bit behind today. We have a few teams that are going to be available for a little pre-break auction action. 
I know that uh, a lot of the regulars weren't able to make it today, but that's okay. That just means we've got a couple of teams that are going to be available a little bit cheaper than normal. So for anybody uh, that uh, may just be watching for the camera to move, make sure that you're paying attention here. <laughs> what we're going to be doing is we've got just a few teams uh, that did not go. We're going to offer them up for a $5 minimum bid, $1 increments after that. If anybody is interested in picking up extra teams, uh, let me put a list here. We have Arizona, Baltimore, Carolina, Cleveland, New Orleans, and Tennessee that are all going to be available again starting at a $5 minimum bid. Uh, if there's no interest, no worries. I'll go ahead and hang on to those. If there's any uh, if there's any hits there, they'll pretty much end up directly out on the eBay store. So no worries if there's no interest in those extra teams. Some folks like to pick them up on the cheap, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get going on that right away. Now, before we do... I do want to go ahead and put this information out here as well. Now, if you already have a team in today's break, whether that's through Facebook, whether that's through eBay, it does not matter. If you already have a team in today's break, you do not need to worry about adding anything for shipping on top of what you're bidding for the team. If you do not have a team in today's break, then I do need you to add $3.75 to your total, and that is to cover shipping. We're going to go ahead and start things off today. We're going to start things off with the Arizona Cardinals. If there is any interest in picking up the Arizona Cardinals, again, that's a $5 minimum bid, $1 increments. I'm going to give everybody about 30 seconds here, and uh, I know that there's a bit of a delay with the uh, live video. Let me know if anyone wants to pick them up. All right, Drew. I'll make sure and uh, mark down for you and Leia once we grab there, or once we uh, once we get there. All right, that's going to be last call for the Arizona Cardinals. Seeing no interest in the Arizona Cardinals, we're going to go ahead and move on. Next up is going to be the Baltimore Ravens. So we have a five dollar minimum bid. Kyle, Kyle, you want to take Arizona for five? There was no other interest, so if you want them, they're yours. Kyle, I'll go ahead and mark them down for you. Next up is going to be Baltimore Ravens. We have a $5 minimum bid from Drew Good. Again, I'm going to give you all about 30 seconds. That's $1 increments if anybody wants to take them from Drew. Seeing no other bids, Drew, Baltimore Ravens are yours for $5. Next up is going to be the Carolina Panthers. Again, starting at a $5 minimum bid. I do not yet have a bid. Go ahead and let me know if you're interested.
That's a $5 bid for the Carolina Panthers for Corey. We'll go ahead and reset the timer there. Remember, $1 increments. Let me know if you want to take them from Corey. That's a seven dollars. Oh, look at that! Six for Al. Back to seven from Corey. I will go ahead. We're going to restart that timer one more time. We have a seven dollar bid. That's going once for Corey. We're going to call that going twice for Corey. Eight dollars. Eight dollar bid for Al. Again, $1 increments if you want to take them back. We have a $10 bid. That is $10 for the Carolina Panthers for Corey. Oops, oh goodness, I apologize for that incredibly loud noise. That is a $10 bid for Corey, that's going once. That is a $10 bid for Carolina for Corey going twice. All right, Corey, you have them. That is a $10 bid. Let me get you marked down. Corey, you already have a team in today's. Oh, yep, yeah, I see that you grabbed the Eagles. Awesome. I apologize, Al. I closed them off before I saw an additional message come through. Sorry about that, Al. Uh, Corey, I announced you as the winner before I saw an $11 bid come through. I'm going to hold myself to a verbal commit. Corey, that's a, a win at 10 bucks. Thank you again. Al, I apologize for cutting you off there. Next up is a $3 minimum bid on the Cleveland Browns. That's a $3 minimum bid. We're going to call it 30 seconds. And let me know if you are interested in the Cleveland Browns. Sam, that's a $3 bid. We'll go ahead and reset the timer there. That is a $3 bid on Cleveland. I'm going to increase my timer to a minute. Corey, that's a $5 bid for Corey. As I was saying, I'm going to increase my timer to a minute. Uh, I'm not getting any audio feedback from myself on Facebook for some reason today through my secondary speakers, so I'm unable to tell how far the delay is. So I don't want to uh, cut anybody else off. So we're just going to increase that delay, uh, that timer just a little bit. And we'll still get through these fairly quickly. Uh, we are currently at $5 to Corey, $5 for Cleveland. We're going to call that going once. Last chance for Cleveland.
We're going to call that going twice. Ah, Blake. Blake, that is a $6 bid on Cleveland. We're going to reset the timer there. Eight. We have an $8 bid for Steven. $8 bid so far on Cleveland. We have about 30 seconds left on that bid timer. You got a moment to think about it, toss in a bid, last chance if you want to try and get that baker. I know everybody thinks he's not going to end up somewhere, but you all know he's going to end up somewhere, and he's going to end up somewhere with a chip on his shoulder. We have an $8 bid for Steven on Cleveland, 10 seconds left. We'll call that going twice, last chance for Cleveland. And that is closed. Eight dollars for Stephen. Thank you very much, Stephen. Let me get you marked down. Uh, I know that you got the Colts. Thanks for grabbing a second team today. Sam, if you could reply to Steven with the Venmo, it's all the way up at the top. Next up is going to be the New Orleans Saints. We're looking for a $5 minimum bid starting. And again, we've got about one minute on the timer. We have five dollars and we have six dollars. Six dollars so far on the New Orleans Saints. That's ten. Ten dollars on the New Orleans Saints for Cody. Corey, excuse me, that's Corey, not Cody, I apologize. Have extended the timer just a little bit. Again, want to make sure we don't miss anybody. That is a $10 bid for the Saints. Still looking for that Drew Brees autograph. I've been talking about it all year long for anybody that's been with us through multiple breaks. I am bound and determined to find a Drew Brees card. And if it's a dare to tear card, then by all means. But I'd really love to pull a Drew Brees auto. We're going to call that going once on the Saints. It is a $10 bid currently. That is going twice. All right, that is closed. Thank you very much, Corey. Let me get you updated here. This is our last team of the day going into our auction action. We have the Tennessee Titans. If you don't remember, one, excuse me, two breaks ago, we pulled that sweet Derrick Henry patch. 
Always looking for a Derrick Henry hit. We're looking for a $5 minimum bid. We've got one minute on the clock. We have five, uh, I'm sorry, so let's see. Steven, right off the bat, wow, that was quick. A 10, a 5, and a 5. Uh, we did already have a $5 bid uh, from Leah to start the day. We do have a $10 bid from Steven. That is correct, Drew, yep. I had a $5 bid marked down. We have a $10 immediately from Steven. Titans are at a $10 bid. Again, they are the last team of the day. Drew? Drew, I assume that is a bid for Leia. That is an $11 bid on the Titans for Leia. Good. We'll go ahead and restart the timer there. Twelve. That is a twelve dollar bid for the Titans. Last chance, call that going up, oh, Drew, Drew, that's a $13 bid coming for Leia, $13 for the Titans. We're going to shorten the timer now. This is a last chance call for the Titans. Looks like Steven is giving it up for Leia. We're going to call it 15 seconds, last call, last chance. I think Drew used the, uh, the, the perfect words. We are going to go ahead and close it right there. That is closed. $13 for Leia. Good. Now, uh, now comes the fun part of the day. We're going to go ahead and, uh, and have a little bit of fun with our giveaway. Today, we are going to give away six spots. Uh, are going to get a little something special. Uh, what are they? Uh, that's a very, very, uh, very good question. Uh, I've gone ahead and specially marked, uh, or not marked, but specially packaged a few fun little envelopes here and we'll we'll spread them out see if I'd have been thinking I'd have done them in different colors or something but I was kind of doing this one uh, last minute because I realized I thought I had one more of those power cubes to do today and then I realized we, we did that in the last break and so I, I didn't have them available so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give away a couple of spots here so this is what I'd like um, I'm gonna I'm gonna check payments here in just a moment uh, I want to give those a, a minute to kind of come through here I appreciate y'all taking care of those right away uh, what I'd like to do is have everybody sound off for me. If you're in the room and you're hearing me, hit here. I'm going to go ahead and bar off the chat right now. There we go. Uh, I know that Mr. MVP is here. He's working in the hospital. He is saving lives. He is already listed as here. Uh, Mr. Jenks, if you hear me, I know that you're here. Everybody else, I need you to type here or something in the chat. I can get you in the randomizer, and we're going to randomize six of these bad boys off.
Anyone else? Last chance. I'm going to make sure I've got everybody on the list. Once I've done verifying the list, we're going to close it up. Yep, I got you, MVP. No worries. I know you're saving lives in the hospital. I always got you on the list. Tell you what. We're going to go ahead and close it here. Now, Drew, I know that you and Leia both pick up spots differently for uh, different teams, so I'm going to add you both to the list. Now, when I do that... It gives us eight people. You know what? Instead of leaving two people out, let's just give away eight envelopes, all right? So here's what we're going to do. I have everybody in the randomizer. We're going to take care of that in just a moment. Uh, let's see exactly how many of these there are. We're going to move this out of the way here for just a moment. We got 10 of them. We got uh, 10 of them, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. That'll that'll do just fine. So we got 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight people in the randomizer. Two picks will not go out. Uh, Blake, did I get you in the list? Ah, Blake, I'm I'm in a I'm in a real good mood today. I'm gonna add you to this list. Gotcha. So one of these are not gonna go out. Uh, that's all right. What we're looking at here. Uh, are some packs that I showed you guys the last time we did the break. Um, the rest of those packs are in there, including a couple of absolute packs, which are awesome. Uh, a couple of old school packs that I picked up at a dollar and two bucks a pack, so you never really know what you're going to find in some of that stuff. We've also got, I believe, three quarterback relics, as well as an autograph in there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to randomize, uh, let's do it four times here. All right, let's bring the camera over. You should have a real good view of the randomizer here. Let's just back you up just a teeny bit. There we go. Looks good, looks good. I could probably bring in just a little bit. As usual, we're going to randomize this four times. And four. All right, here's the order that we're going to go with. I'm going to go ahead and set you all down. It's uh, pretty, pretty close to where we were here. We might have to rearrange when we actually get to our, uh, our cards itself. Now, we're going we're gonna to grab these right now. Um, I'm going to label them. And then what we're going to do is open them up after the break. I'm going to keep everybody in suspense because I'm kind of mean like that. So we're going to go ahead, let me just grab, all right, all right, Al, uh, you are number one on the list, uh, why don't you go ahead and pick an envelope, and we're going to number them. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and number 10 is going to be right up front here. Let me know which envelope you want, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to just draft them one by one here. While Al is thinking that over, we have the NFL draft coming up in two weeks. That is going to be our next break after today. Our next break, we're going to do a little bit of old school. I can't believe I still have this bad boy uh, uh, collecting dust. We have a 2021 Panini score. 40 cards per, uh, per pack, 10 packs in there. 
for autographs. Uh, we got some real cool stuff out of this earlier at the beginning of the year. I opened a couple of these for myself for my own personal collection. So that's going to be our next break. Al, all right. Al has picked number one. Now let me go ahead uh, and pull number one here. That is for Al. Next is Steven. Steven, I saw you picked right away. Steven picked number six. Two, three, four, five, number six here. Failed to focus there. There we go, a little bit better. Leah, go ahead and pick an envelope. Pick number two. Thank you, thank you. Next up is Sam. Sam, pick your envelope, please. Remember, there's four of them down here, three of them up top. Thank you, thank you. Number five. What? Now I already have to. Okay. Now I have to. Uh, did I did I say five was the one up front or the one on the end? I already forgot. I'm pretty sure I said five was the one up front, right? Done went and distracted myself, folks. Help me out, Sam. I know this is eight, but did I say this was five? Number the first one here, or that number this was five over here on the far end? <laughs> Anybody? The end one on the end. Okay, thank you. All right, so that's for Sam. I believe Andrew. I believe you are next. Yep, you are next. You have picked number eight. We got number eight right here. All right, so now we're gonna call these one, two, three, four, five is gonna be the nose here, just like it has been. That was our number 10 in the original. One, two, three, four, and five is up front. Uh, next up after MVP was Blake. Wait, 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 what's going on? Five is the one on the end. Oh, okay, I see all the messages are coming through. I get it, it was just a little bit of a delay. Thank you, everybody, for your help. Uh, Blake, you are next, Blake.
Blake, Blake, are you with us? Did I lose you? Top left, so the new number one. Okay, thank you very much. Next up, we have Drew, then Ken, then Corey. Drew, what would you like? Drew's got number four. Next up, we have Kenneth C, then Corey D. Ken, your pick. Three options left. Pick that number five. I thought everyone was just going to leave that one hanging. All right. Last one, Corey. One to stay, one to go. Which one is it? Corey likes the one on the left. All right. We'll go ahead. Let's see what nobody picked real quick. We're going to see what nobody picked. Nobody picked one of the packs, one of the one of the $1 packs. So that means the patches, the auto, as well as the absolute packs, which I think are going to be the most fun. Uh, the absolute packs definitely went. Those are in there. We're going to have some real fun. That's going to come at the very, very end of today's break. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and get ready. Bring some plastics out for us here. Right. The very last thing I want to let everybody know about again, uh, I went over what our next break is going to be with SCORE. Uh, I do want to remember or remind everybody if you're interested in the $20 slab grabs, we do still have spots available. Spots are $5 each. We're only taking six spots per slab. Um, those uh, are obviously, we just wanted to try and support my local card shop, so we picked a few of those up. If you're interested, by all means, let me know. Um, those are going to close up real soon with the uh, bids that we do have there. And with that, let's go ahead and get to some legacy action, huh? All right. Super excited about this. I really liked the legacy product this year, I believe. This is like the the seventh or, or eighth box, but I'd, I'd have to check exactly how many of these we opened up this year, um, or this season anyway, starting in the preseason when we popped that Justin Fields right after he was drafted, right after Legacy came out. It was just a, an absolutely bomb hit. Uh, and, and we've kind of been hoping to try and find something just as great. Uh, we've certainly seen some awesome pulls. Uh, we had a really nice patch auto last time. It was just a little unfortunate that it, it wasn't a player that had panned out a little bit better throughout the season. But you never really know, uh, you know what players are going to turn into or, or you know, what kind of career that they're going to have. So you're pretty much always, always open to, uh, to just about anything. So uh, as usual, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, scoop out a couple of the fatter packs. We're going to move those to the end. This one looks kind of fatty. These two look really fatty.
Alright. Alright, last time I want to just take a quick second here to thank everybody for joining. Uh, thank you very much for being part of the Prophecy Box Breaks groups. We've definitely got some really interesting news that's going to be coming up tomorrow or the next day that we're going to have that posted. Uh, so definitely be on the lookout for that. Uh, we're going to take just a, a, a smidgen of a different direction uh, with things, although we're certainly not going to forget where we came from or what we did to get to where we are. So uh, let's pull some bangers today, and uh, in the next couple of days, we'll talk about the next couple of days. So here we go. Good luck, everybody. Pack number one today. Now, if you're not aware, all of these packs run pretty much the same direction. We start off with a Legends card, and this time, uh, this case, one of my all-time favorites, quarterback of the San Francisco 49ers, Steve Young. And Reggie Bush. After your Legends cards, we got a couple of bases that are going to pop. We got Josh Allen of the Jaguars. We have Russell Wilson, formerly of the Seattle Seahawks. And we have David Montgomery from the Bears. Now here we hit our insert, our, one of our numbered inserts right away, and it happens to be an orange parallel Legends, Marshall Falk from what would now be the Los Angeles Rams that is number 226 of 299. We're going to set these right here and take a little closer look at this. Awesome hit for the LA Rams. Let's get you in some plastic here in just a moment. At the end of every pack, you got a couple of rookies this time. We got first round pick. Trey Lance in the same pack there. And we're going to get this hit sleeved up. We'll do penny sleeves right now if you haven't worked with us before. All of these hits are going to ship out in top loaders, so no worries there. Number two. We start off with another 49er. This time, Charles Haley. And Heinz Ward. Starting off, our bases here is Matt Stafford with the Lions. Baker Mayfield. I said we were going to find a Baker. This wasn't the one I was expecting, but we'll take it to start off with. And we've got our first hit. That is number 13 of 100. Auto. Refractor. Rookie from the Buckeyes, Sean Wade. Very nice autograph as well. I mean, sometimes you get beautiful uh, uh, rookie cards and they just don't understand the concept of how to autograph it. Uh, this this is a super, super nice auto. I'm going to get this in a penny and top loader before we move on. We got an absolute banger right off the bat. Pack number two. Numbered to 100, there we go, Sean Wade. Thirteen of 100, super low number, that is awesome. Sean Wade, the team is eluding me off the top of my head. Someone want to go ahead and drop that in the chat for me, please? I wanted to say New England, but I, I'm just not 100% positive. I'd have to Google it, and uh, and my, my keyboard is quite a ways over there, so a little, little bit out of reach for me. To finish off this pack, we have Eric Dickerson, a decade of dominance. Pretty sweet insert here. Our rookies... 
Another first round pick in Jamar Chase for the Bengals. And Patrick Sertan, the second. Two great first round picks. We're moving on to pack number three. <laughs> Jenks, he is yours, isn't he? <laughs> Do I, need to, do I need to check? Here, I'll go check real quick. American football cornerback for the New England Patriots. All right. Well, MVP, we were saying that uh, it had been a, been a couple of times since you'd had a hit. Drafted by, oh, drafted by the Ravens, then traded to New England. Well, we certainly haven't had one of those. I'm pretty sure the listing says that rookies go to the team they were drafted by. I'm going to double check to make sure we want to be fair above all else. Let's see. Any cards pulled not including a team name will go to the team jersey displayed. If there's no NFL jersey displayed, the card will go to the team that drafted that player. So, uh, you are correct then if they were dra <laughs> I see that's why you said you didn't want to tell the truth. As they were drafted by the Ravens, that would be a hit for Baltimore. Thank you very much for your, uh, your honesty, MVP. That's why we appreciate you so much. Now let's go ahead. We'll get to pack three here. I know that... Uh, that MVP is looking for a hit, and he's been waiting for one, so let's see if we can't find him one to go along with this, uh, this other banger right here, this Sean Wade. Pack number three starts us off with a Lance Briggs Legends card, Chicago. And another Cleveland Brown, Joe Thomas. Looks like Josh Allen starts off our base set for this pack. Followed by C.D. Lamb. We got something in here. Look at that bad boy. I've been talking about pulling a Drew Brees, and by God, there he is. I'm going to set these right where everybody can see. That is a yellow, cracked, ice Drew Brees. It's not an autograph, but I've been itching all year to hit him, and there he is. Yellow, cracked, ice. Oh, my goodness. Numbered 6 of 10. Wow! Who who scooped? Who scooped New Orleans? Where are ya? New Orleans Saints. Corey, what a pull, man. What a phenomenal pull. I'm getting this into some plastic for you here, and we'll get this back out on the screen in just a second. Oh, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for a Drew Brees. I was sad that I've been collecting cards for a majority of his career and I've, I've just I've never pulled anything of substance or value when it comes to Drew Brees and uh, uh, numbered to 10 mini is a uh, is a pretty awesome hit to me I'm, I'm super glad that we can pull that let alone I'm super glad that it ended up going to somebody as opposed to ending up on the eBay store tonight so congratulations here I'm just trying to get it in here nice and nice and even for you and I'm just trying to be super, super careful. So this is going to take just a second. There we go. There we go. All right. Beautiful Drew Brees Mini. Oh, man. Had the camera focusing just fine earlier. There we go. Numbered to 10. Absolutely phenomenal hit. That is that is just a beauty. You know, I, I feel kind of I, I feel kind of bad. I haven't sleeved this one up here. We're just gonna sleeve this up real fast. I'm always paranoid that something's gonna happen and something's gonna get bent. So I'd rather get it sleeved up now and not have to worry about it. There we go.
Awesome, awesome hits. You know what? We're going to slide these right up here. No, I don't know. It's all right. All right. <laughs> For the rest of pack number three, there's also an Alvin Kamara flashback. And we've got rookies, Sage Surratt and Elijah Molden. Let's move it on to pack number four. Seeing some awesome fire already. This feels a little thick. Gonna make sure this isn't a mini because we don't want them falling out on us. It's not a mini. We've got a Legends Mike Ditka. That's awesome. A little black and white attack coming at you. And Tiki Barber, one of my favorite running backs as a kid. Robbie Anderson starts off our base set. Jerry Judy of the Broncos. We've got a rookie, Opticrome, Samuel Cosme. From the Longhorns. The base optochromes are not numbered, but they're awesome. Insert is Timeless Talent of Lamar Jackson from the Ravens. Rookies, Elijah Moore and Sam Cosme. Cool, cool. Pull the base and the insert in the same pack. We got pack number five next. Pack number five starts off with Kurt Warner of the Rams. And Tony Gonzalez, one of the best tight ends to play the game. Next up. Outside linebacker slash defensive end Khalil Mack. Joe Burrow from the Bengals. And Darius Leonard of the Colts. Looks like we've got a little insert action. We have a green parallel rookie Tylen Wallace. Green parallel number 28 of 100. Someone might need to check that team. Not 100% positive where he ended up. Trey Sermon and Dimitri Felton are our rookies today. If I know Sam, he's already on it. number six. Another Raven. <laughs> oh, Blake. Uh, missing those Steeler hits. Raven's getting popped left and right, huh? All right. Let's see here. Let's see what number six has to bring us. Our legends are Terrell Davis. And Sean Alexander. It's a great one two punch at running back. Our base start with Nick Chubb from the Browns. Seen a lot of Cleveland here. AJ Brown from the Titans. And Mr. Tampa Bay Tom Brady from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Woo, here's an insert that's going to need a little randomization action at the end of the day. We have a Generations insert for Joey Bosa of the Chargers and Nick Bosa of the Niners. If this is your first time with us today, we'll do a four-round randomization. Put both teams in the randomizer three times, 
and whichever one ends up on top pulls the insert. So I'm going to set this one aside for just a moment, and we will randomize that one at the end. Our rookies for the pack are Jamar Jefferson and Jeremiah Obosu Koromora. Pack number seven. This one feels kind of thick in the middle. Kind of feels like a spacer, though. We'll see what happens. We are still looking for one more mini. It's not in this pack. Our legends are safety Brian Dawkins from the Eagles and some guy named Terry Bradshaw. Wow, nice legends card. Our base set's going to start off with wide receiver Kenny Galladay from Detroit. Back to the Rams, Robert Woods. Darren Waller from the Ravens. Excuse me, not the Ravens, the Las Vegas Raiders. Ooh, insert, blue, parallel, flashback, Dak Prescott of the Cowboys, number 32 of 50. Very nice. We are seeing some sweet insert action. That's not normally uh, not normally such a dirty sounding thing, but it's a, it's a pretty great thing today for you Cowboys lovers out there. I know there's uh, one or two of them. Let me get this sleeved up. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Beautiful deck. Card. Whew. Love these inserts today. We had a couple of cards left in this pack. We had Rookie from the Texans, Mr. Nico Collins. And Christian Barmore, Defensive Tackle. Pack number eight. We are starting to get into the fat set. We still have a few Optichrome cards. We still have a couple, uh, I believe we still have at least one more numbered insert. And we still have the Relic. This could be a mini. It is not. We've got Dan Marino. I think that's our first hit for the Dolphins today. It's kind of crazy. If you were here for the last pack, the Dolphins were like every other card. Ken Anderson, that is yet another hit. Well, this is, I'm sorry, that's the Bengals. I looked at the, the helmet and immediately thought Browns, but then I said Ken Anderson, and my brain wouldn't say Ken Anderson from the Browns. So at least, uh, at least uh, you know, my, my brain is still working correctly. <laughs> we got Austin Eckler from the Chargers starting off our base set here. Ezekiel Elliott, another pull for the Cowboys. Our Optichrome here is a rookie, Tylen Wallace. Boy, I feel like we've said that name already today. Of course, we have the green parallel earlier today was Tylen Wallace, and that is the same card. All right. So we got the Optichrome version and the green parallel version. Behind the parallel, we've got a full ages Joe Montana at quarterback insert. Beautiful, beautiful. Rookies, Travis Etienne, hopes to actually get to play this year. And Ian Book, also hopes to actually get to play this year. Let me go ahead and get these bad boys sleeved up, huh? You don't want the fire burning through the table. Pack number nine. Oops, pardon me. I got a feeling about this pack. It feels so slim and light, but that doesn't mean. Look at that. We got a mini right there. I probably can't see it, but we got a mini. Come on. Trying to not spoil the surprise here. 
but I don't want it to fall off camera or anything silly like that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at the rookies here first. Let me put my finger right here just to make sure. We've got a little Michael Carter action. And we've got Joseph Osai. For our legends here are Javon Kurtz in his Titans uni. And Dwight Franey, pretty much known only for the Colts. Our base, Teddy Bridgewater for the Carolina Panthers. Cam Akers for the Los Angeles Rammies. And our mini wide receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers. That is a blue parallel. Deontay Johnson. Now what's even more awesome about this is every other time we've either pulled like one numbered and then one base mini. While well, this being a blue parallel, if I can get it to focus, is numbered 41 of 50. If you're unable to see it, you're going to have to take my word for it. That is 41 of 50. Behind that, our insert for the pack was another Dallas Cowboy quarterback, Roger Staubach, Decade of Dominance. We get our mini taken care of here. That's going to be both our minis for the box, although, hey, I have seen, uh, you know, every once in a while you get a box with a little extra, a little extra stuff in it, some extra juice. So you never rule anything out, but that should be both of our minis for the day. Nice, very nice hits for New Orleans and Pittsburgh. There we go, nice and easy. 41 of 51 more look, Deontay Johnson. I apologize for the camera. There we go. Still working out a few of the kinks. There you go, Blake. Pack number 10. This one's so thick they don't want to move inside the pack. Perhaps a spacer. Perhaps something awesome. We have Troy, I have the best hair in the NFL, Palomaru. And Mr. Mike, I catch touchdown passes as an outside linebacker, Grable. Mark Andrews brings up the start of our base set. Michael Pittman Jr. for the Colts. Our next Optichrome is an under the lights insert. For Mr. Justin Herbert of the L.A. Chargers. Beautiful Optichrome. That's awesome. If you wanted to know how red my shirt is, you could tell. Look at that bad boy. We got a little Houston Texans DeAndre Hopkins action. Flashback insert. Our rookies, first round pick, Penny Seal. And... The fourth overall pick, Zach Wilson, or second overall pick, Zach Wilson. Boy, it's like I forgot my NFL for a minute there. That was kind of crazy. Um, yeah, yeah, Kyle Pitts was fourth. Woo, really confused myself. That Herbert is really, really beautiful. Yeah, I love the Optichrome inserts. They really make, I don't have it in the hard plastic yet, but they, they really make the player pop from the card itself. So really, really awesome. Pack 11. Starts us off with the Legends, Champ Bailey. 
kind of crazy how we keep getting Broncos who just happen to be the best ever at their position. And LaDainian Tomlinson, one of my own personal favorites. Bills here, Keenan Allen from the Chargers. Tyler Lockett. Man, I, I feel like that's our first pull from the Seahawks. Allen Robinson, the second. Last time we'll see him in the Bears unions. And we've got a yellow parallel this time. Ruby Anderson, that Carolina Panthers love, number 91 to 150. So look, look at all of these pulls that we're seeing that actually came in the pre-break auction action. Thank you so much for being here a few minutes early, folks. Thanks so much for scooping up those extra teams. I love that these are going to your hands instead of my eBay store. Keep up the great work, everybody. That was an awesome pull. Rookies here. We got a Sean Wade, base rookie. And another first-round pick, Devonta Smith. Man, we have hit so many first-round picks. Now, barring an extra... This uh, Ruby Anderson is our fourth and should be our last numbered parallel. Again, barring some awesome extra hotness. You never know just exactly how hot that fire is going to burn. So you just keep pulling and pulling and hope that it just gets hotter and hotter. And eventually we burn our hands on a Drew Brees auto or a, a Mac Jones auto or some Davis Mills action. What do we have here? Oh. Oh, this one is so thick. It's fat. It's so... Oh, look at that. Oh, there is something inside here. Oh, what, 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 what in the world is that? What is it? Woo. Woo. We're going to, we're going to hide it. We're going to hide it. You can't see it yet. You can't see it yet. We're going to start with our awesome insert. That is a flashback insert. Back to the Washington Redskins. Terry McLaurin. Oops, sorry if I had that up off the camera. Awesome flashback insert. Our rookies here, Brevin Jordan of the Texans. And Chartarius 2 2 Atwell. You already saw the first Legends card here is Zach Thomas. Behind him, Mark Brunel. Our base. Look at that, Mr. Super Bowl champion Aaron Donald. Stefan Diggs for the Bills. And rookie Micah Parsons. Look at that hit. Oh, wow. Beautiful. This Optichrome rookie card. Wow, I better check the others. This one is numbered. 98 of 100. Come on. There it is. 98 of 100. That is beautiful. Okay, now i got to check these. Not numbered. Cosme was not numbered. Tylen Wallace was not numbered. I don't see anything different. Oh, it is the bronze parallel. I missed it. That is the bronze optichrome parallel. That is why that one is numbered and the others are not. We're going to get this sleeved up on the now. That will be the, uh, the last of our optichromes. Again, barring something crazy. Oops. There we go. Gotta make every make sure everyone is good and protected. We can pretty up a couple of these sleeves later. I accidentally crinkled this sleeve, so I'm gonna replace this sleeve here. Give me just a second, folks. Yeah, you don't want a sleeve that's all messed up. Awesome, awesome. All right. I believe I showed you the last two cards here. Stephon Diggs and Aaron Donald, definitely. Okay, let's go ahead. 
pack number 13. Pack number 13 starts off with Legends corner slash safety, Charles Woodson in his Raiders uniform. And one of the best DL of all time, Warren Sapp for Tampa Bay. We have Amari Cooper back when he played for Dallas. DeAndre Swift for the Lions. And Tyler Boyd for the Bengals. Next up, we have a Timeless Talents insert for Alvin Kamara of the Saints. Do not believe Timeless Talents are numbered. No, they are not. Rookies are Elijah Mitchell and Amon Ross St. Brown. A little bit more Detroit love. Pack 14, pack 15, and pack 16. Our last three packs. We're about to find a little bit of fire. One more time, real quick before we finalize those. I do want to remind everybody, last chance on the PSA graded slab. If you want to jump in on the raffle, $5 a spot. Let me know in a DM after the break. We'll make sure and add you to that list before they get broken. We will do a completely separate, real fast video for that when they're ready to go. And uh, let's find out what we've got here, folks. All right, this one feels OMG. I don't know which one to open. They all feel they all feel like they're the fattest. This one feels like it's the fattest, though. This one, this one doesn't. I'm just going to leave them in the order that they were in, that I put them in originally, even though I think this is going to be our monster right here. I'm shaking. I'm excited. Pack number 14. Here we go. We're going to start off with a Legends, Tory Holt, and Ray Lewis. For the, for the Legacy Packs, Drew? I'd have to look up and see what they are by the pack. J.K. Dobbins brings up the base set. Jonathan Taylor. Oh, for the slabs, gotcha. Uh, Jonathan Taylor is our base here. Sorry, I misunderstood the question there, Drew. Thanks for the help hook up there, Sam. We have CMC, Christian McCaffrey, pull for the Panthers. And we have a spacer. For the ages, Terry Bradshaw, that's our second Terry Bradshaw. It's beautiful for the ages insert. Our rookies for this pack are Jaleon Darden and Javante Williams. I think that's the second Javante Williams. Yep, Drew, that's uh, that's these. We're doing a, we're doing a raffle on these. Uh, I picked these up from my local card shop at 20 and Pop. Um, we're doing uh, uh, six $5 raffle tickets for each of them, and then we're going to randomize them and pick a winner. That way, uh, there's no charge for shipping on them. The extra spot covers the shipping. So, Pack number 15. This is our second to last pack. Since we are so close to the end, we're going to make sure that whatever is right there is not seen. Move these up to the front. So right away, oh, that is awesome. I've wanted to pull one of these, and I'm glad that I have not yet. Uh, Drew, I've already got uh, raffle spots sold on each of them. Uh, so I'd have to talk to the people that have purchased the raffle spots on one of them. So why don't we get together after the break? I'll message you. Uh, I've wanted to pull one of these. I'd love to have one for my own PC. Uh, so I might message the winner here. But we have another Generations talent. This is David Carr, quarterback, Houston. And Derek Carr, quarterback, Las Vegas Raiders. That will go into the randomizer.
at the end of today's break. We have rookie Rondale Moore and Quiddy Pay, first round pick. Our Legends cards, Marshall Falk from the Greatest Show on Turf. And Donald Driver, awesome. Donald Driver was one of the guys that I loved to trade for in Madden because you could easily destroy everybody and have 2,000 yards receiving season after season after season. It was super, super fun to play because he was just so dominating at wide receiver. Our base hits here are DK Metcalf from the Seahawks, LaMichael Perrin from the Jets, Lamar Jackson, little Ravens love. We're getting real close. To our spacer, which means we did it. We did it again. We managed to put our best, our, our, our patch hit, should be hopefully a patch auto hit, and our last pack again, two breaks in a row. Man, I love this product. I want to thank everybody for being part of Prophecy Box Breaks today. Don't forget, at the end of the video, we're going to go ahead and open up each of the envelopes from earlier. We're going to see what everybody's got. So if you want to hang out for that, you certainly can. If you got to come back and watch the video another time, that's okay, too. I love you all. Thank you so much for being part of the fun today. Let's crack this last pack. Hey, look at that. We got a little Steve Largent action on the front. I know a Seahawks fan who will love that. And I know a Seahawks fan who knows how to get that bad boy autographed. Our timeless talents, Champ Bailey, Denver. Denver's getting a lot of love today. Beautiful insert. Rookies, Kellen Mond. A guy that I was really butthurt that the Texans didn't get in the end. I'm really, really happy with Davis Mills. And we got Sam Ellinger. Another young quarterback could come out of the woodwork here sometime this year. We saw the Steve Largent. Next up is Jordy Nelson. It's not only got that beautiful Donald Driver, we got a Jordy Nelson to go with him. Great pull there, Kyle. I know how happy you are for this. We have a Houston Texans base. That's a David Johnson pull. Pretty sure he might still be there this year. Calvin Ridley, last time we're going to see him in Falcons Uni. And our pool. Our pool. Oh my god. Holy crap. This is a, oh, oh my god. Second overall draft pick, Zach Wilson. Three color patch. Stick it up. And, oh my god, we're shaking. Holy crap. Number 31 of 50. Oh. Oh, our gods. I can't get it to focus. Please focus. 41 of 50. Oh, my goodness. What a hit for the J-E-T-S Jets. Wow. Oh, man. Okay, let me... I got some special plastics over here for this. Let me grab them. Woo! I am shaking. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Woo! set them aside somewhere and of course now that we're live uh, I can't seem to find them oh right here sorry everywhere but the one place that I looked let's check the board here 
the New York Football Jets went to Justin McAllen, who picked them up off of Facebook before they went to eBay. Congratulations, Justin. I haven't seen your name here today, so I assume that you weren't able to make it. But I know you are going to be super stoked with this fire hit. It is hard to hold this bad boy in my hand. It is so friggin' gorgeous. Wow. Just wow. Well, that makes an awesome, <laughs> another awesome pull. We hit a, a, a Trevor Lawrence autograph earlier this year, which is the cover photo for the group. Uh, we had a beautiful Davis Mills dual patch auto out of this exact product. Uh, I still regret not making an offer on it to the person. And now we've hit Zach Wilson, three of the premier quarterbacks out of this year's draft. And, uh, wow, absolute fire, man. It was hard to beat that Drew Brees that we pulled earlier, that cracked ice, but OMG, that was phenomenal. It, it took my breath away. All right, now, we're going to set up real quick here uh, for the Generations cards. We're going to start in the order that they were pulled, so I'm just going to get the randomizer set up here real quick. All right, let me bring you across. We're going to do these real quick. Just like before, let me bring you up to speed. We've got each team three times. We're going to randomize four times. Whatever team is listed at the top wins the card. Good luck, everybody. Both, two, uh, both of you. That's two. This is three. And this is four. Our Bosa Generations card goes to the LA Chargers. Give me just a moment to get that marked down for us. All right, next up is going to be our car card that is listed Houston to Las Vegas. So we'll get that lined up here. And again, let me bring you over. Oh, pardon me. We've got Houston and Vegas three times. Again, we're going to randomize four times. That's two. That's three. And for the win, Houston. Houston takes the car card. Let me get you back down here and get that marked off for us. All right, now that we've got those sorted, we're going to go ahead. We're going to move everything to the side. Boy, that's a, that's a beautiful Zach Wilson. Oh, oh man, I can, hardly, I can hardly hold it. That is so absolutely beautiful, and uh, I can't wait to get that one out to you. Now, the last thing that we're going to do today real quick is we're going to go ahead and see what everybody's got here. We're going to open these up. We're going to flip through the packs. Again, if you're able to stay and hang out, that's awesome. If you're not able to, no harm, no foul. Come back, check out the video, see what you got or just wait for it to show up in the mail. Al, you had our first pack. Let's see what you got. Al has pulled one of our quarterback patches. This one is a Ryan Mallett New England Patriots blue patch dressed for success, numbered 
14 of 249. Congratulations, Al. Let me get you marked off. Second up is Steven. Steven, let's see what you got here. Steven pulled one of the 1991 NFL Pacific Pro Football Plus packs, 14 card pack. In your pack, we've got Keith Sims from the Dolphins, Buford McGee from the Rams, Herschel Walker, awesome, Minnesota Vikings, Gary Reasons, Giants, hey, hey, Boomer Esiason from the Bengals, Danny Noonan, from the Cowboys, Tyron Braxton from the Broncos, Mark Murphy, Packers, John Alt, Chiefs, Jay Schroeder, quarterback for the Raiders, Mark Duper, Dolphins, Irv Pankey from the Rams, and Mike Merriweather from the Vikings. I apologize, there's one last here. Jeff Hostetler, Giants, quarterback. Love those old school packs. You never really know who you're going to find, what you're going to find. Let's see. Just making sure we get this updated here. Leia is going to be next here in just a moment. If Leia gets a pack, could you send the pack? Sure, sure, yeah, if Leia gets the pack, we'll send it so that you guys can open it. Uh, hopefully you'll take pictures and post in the box break group for me. Leia, this one is yours. What do we have? Ooh. I'm a, I'm a little disappointed that we don't get to open this. This is one of the two absolute football packs that we pulled. Five cards per pack. Uh, these are hobby packs. Uh, but we'll go ahead. I'll keep my word. We'll send this one off to Leia. And you just post a couple of pictures for me when they arrive. Let me know what kind of hotness you guys pulled, all right? We'll set this one off to the side for a moment. Get you marked down. Sam, you are next. Let's see what you've got here. Sam pulls one of the hits from today. And this, oh, this, is, this is actually one of my favorites out of the group here. A Philip Rivers Gamers from Prestige 2013 Relic. Beautiful patch, nice and clean. Referencing a quarter uh, back in 2012. Throwing touchdowns to Antonio Gates. So I know Sam liked uh, Philip Rivers a little bit more than me as a fan. So I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that, that was a nice pull for you, man. Congratulations. Nice hit. Alright, let's 
MVP, you are next. Haven't seen you chat in a bit. I'm sure the hospital has got you. Next up for MVP. MVP pulled one of our Upper Deck 1993 hobby packs. We're going to go ahead and rip this bad boy and see if he managed to pull one of the hollows out of these. There are some really, really cool holograph cards out of here that we did not pull last time. We're going to see if we can uh, find one for him today. Good luck here, MVP. Ooh. Oh, these have been in here so long, they are stuck together. Woo! Let's see if we, what we can do here. Alright, we have a Carlton Hasselwig, Carlton Hasselwig from the Steelers. A Cortez Kennedy from the Seahawks. Woo! Look at that future 1993 Heroes. Future Heroes inset found in Hobby and Jumbo Packs in the 1993 series with a San Francisco 49er number 36 could be a running back, could be a receiver I'd have to look up and see who this is let's see, we've got a David Meggett from the Giants We have Rob Moore from the Jets. Hey, look at that. Dana Stubblefield, a beast for the Niners. Anthony Smith for the Raiders. Mark Spindler for the Lions. All rookie team checklist. Oh, there's a checklist card. Man, it's been forever since I've seen a checklist card. Holy cow. And we have an all-rookie team. Kicker, Lynn Elliott, Dallas. Anthony Pleasant from the Browns. And Todd Light from the Rams. Kind of an interesting pack there. Upper deck pack for MVP. Let me get this marked off for us real fast. Blake is next. Blake, let's see what you got today. Thanks so much for being here for the break, being part of Prophecy Box Breaks. You pulled the one and only autograph out of today's bunch. Quarterback, Tyrod Taylor. That is a upper deck sweet spot 2011 autograph. Very nice. Congratulations, Blake. Drew. Drew, it's time for yours. What do we got? Drew, let me know. If you pull a pack, do you want to open that with Leia, or do you want us to open yours on the stream here? I'm going to go ahead. We're going to see what you've got inside. You let me know what you'd like to do. I'm going to slow roll ya. I'm going to slow roll ya. Because it looks like you have pulled the second Upper Deck 1993 pack. I'll give you a second here. Let me know what you'd like to do. Hey, if it's up, if you're leaving it up to me, let's go ahead. Let's open it for the channel here. Let's see if we can find one of those holographs I've been trying to find out of these. I got to see a couple of them in the store when I uh, when I went and grabbed the packs here, although I, I really didn't expect them to be all stuck together like this. So, <laughs> But uh, we've got uh, Jeff Hotsettler from the Raiders for you. We've got Jeff Cross from the Dolphins. We've got Tommy Vardell of the Browns. Hey, look at that. Stud outside linebacker for the Chiefs, Derek Thomas. You got a checklist card. We got Todd Light from the Rams. Kevin Mack for the Browns. 
We have Courtney Hawkins for the Buccaneers. Brett Perriman from the Lions. All rookie team defensive tackle, Sean Gilbert for the Rams. All rookie team card number three is Steve Emptman, defensive end. And a Greg Cragan, nose tackle for the Broncos. Thanks very much for allowing us to open that, Drew. Thanks for not only being part of the break, but being here today, being part of the group, we definitely appreciate you. Kenneth. Kenneth is a first timer here with Prophecy Box Breaks. What did you pull today? Kenneth pulled. Oh, this, this, this was kind of a zonk. I remember how stoked I was when I got this card. The Texans had just traded for Brock Osweiler. You know, he sat behind Peyton Manning for a few years. Uh, I'm living in Arizona, so to pull this card, I remember I actually had a couple of people offer to buy it off of me right away just because they were fans of his being from Arizona here, watching him play at Sun Devil Stadium. Uh, I remember being absolutely stoked. I wouldn't sell this card. I wouldn't even consider it. I thought he was going to take the Texans to the playoffs, and instead we had to give the Browns a second-round draft pick to get rid of him. So, uh, uh Apologize that you got out of Zonk today. However, you do get a pretty sweet looking card out of the deal anyway. So definitely appreciate you being with us today, and I hope we see you again in future breaks, man. Corey? Corey, you got our last poll. And since I said it earlier and we didn't find it, although there was one pack earlier, I'm pretty sure this has got to be our second, that's right, absolute football pack. You got one of the two best pulls out of here. I know that the, some of the relics are pretty cool, but hey, uh, unopened hobby packs are always pretty sweet. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to rip this bad boy open and let's see what you got. All right, so we're going to start off with a Nick Bosa, San Francisco. We have a Chrome Najee Harris rookie card. Very nice. Not numbered. Had to check, though. That's a beautiful card. You got another Chrome Chuba Hubbard rookie running back for the Carolina Panthers. Very nice. Behind Chuba is a Mike Evans for Tampa Bay. A beautiful introductions. Absolute football. Kellen Mond from Texas A&M to the Minnesota Vikings. That is an awesome insert. If you're not a Kellen Mond fan, I know somebody who is. And you have a kid reporter card in case you want to go to the Super Bowl this year. Uh, good, good luck with that. Anyway. Thank you very much for being part of today's break. I believe you were also one of the uh, first-timers in today's break, so we'll definitely make sure and include that with any cards that you have coming to you that will be in your envelope. Boy, come on. Go back inside here. I don't want to damage any corners, so we're being super, super careful. There we go. All right. Uh, we will go ahead and get everything out today. That has been a super, super awesome break. I'm going to show a few of these awesome hits before we go. I want to thank everybody so much for being part of Prophecy Box Breaks today. I want to thank you so much for allowing me to rip for you. I hope we're able to catch you back again in a future break. If you have any questions or concerns, if you want to get any products, by all means, you can hit me up anytime. Send me a message. We want to definitely make sure that we can answer any questions that you have, and I'd love to see you in a future break. Until then, folks, thank you very much for being part of the Prophecy Box Break family. And I hope you all have an awesome week.